The catalog for our October auction in London features something very special. There are only 12 violas by Antonio Stradivari, and on October 31st, we will sell the Cooks Castelbarco at auction. This is a big deal. The last time that a Stradivari viola was successfully sold at auction was in 1886, when the Gibson Stradivari sold for the equivalent of $2,400. We're pretty confident that this viola will set a new record. The Cook's Castelbarco is magnificent. It's exquisitely preserved with pristine edges in undisturbed varnish. At 40.7 centimeters, that's just a little over 16 inches, it's the perfect size for most players. And there's a special history to this viola as well. It was originally made by Stradivari as a viola d'amore, but a very unusual d'amore one that had viola-shaped corners, viola-shaped edges, and viola sound holes. And in fact, it looked much more like a traditional viola than a damore. It was built on Stradivari's contralto viola form, the same form on which he built nine of the surviving violas. The Arquinto, the McDonald, the Gibson, the Paganini, these were all made on the same form as the Cooks. And if you overlay that form onto the cooks, you can see the outline is a perfect match. It was common in the 19th century for violin makers to modify or modernize classical and Baroque instruments to make them more suited to modern playing. And that's what happened when the French violin maker and dealer Jean-Baptiste Villaume converted this instrument in the mid 19th century. Villaume removed Stradivari's original 12 string d'amore head and replaced it with a traditional head made by Niccolo Amati. He also made a new arched back to replace the original flat back of the Damore. The original 12-string head was donated to the Paris Conservatoire by Villon and is now preserved in the collection of the Musée de la Musique in Paris. Earlier this month, I had the privilege of reuniting the Cooks with its original head. It was astonishing to see how much varnish remains on this instrument. One of the reasons why this viola is so well preserved is that it was unplayed for the first 130 years of its life. Here's a letter from Stradivari's son Paolo, written to the violin maker G.B. Guaranini in 1775, nearly 40 years after Stradivari died. In it, Paolo refers to the instrument as bellissima and perfettissima, beautiful and most perfect, and Paolo refuses to sell it. And here, in 1804, the violin collector Count Cozio writes to Stradivari's grandson and says, Do you still have that excellent condition viola d'amore made by your grandfather? I've published the full history of this instrument in an article I wrote for our, our Carteggio last month. It's a fascinating story of one of Stradivari's most unique instruments. There are only two of the 12 Stradivari violas that are still in private hands. The rest are in foundations, museums, and public institutions. It's a historic moment that a viola like this comes for sale, and we're honored to be selling it. The bidding will start at 500,000 pounds. There are many other interesting lots in the London sale as well. This violin by Villon is an excellent sounding example, made in around 1840. Lot 27 is a violin by Niccolo Galliano with a stunning back made on his broad model in around 1750. Lot 26 is a violin by Leandro Biziac, and Lot 25 is by Biziac's contemporary, Riccardo Antoniazzi. There are two interesting contemporary violas, one by Stefan van Bayer and another by Frédéric Chaudier. There are two viola bows, one by Christian Wilhelm Knopf and another by Jacob Yuri. There is a superb gold and tortoiseshell mounted violin bow by Eugene Sartori. It's an exciting sale, and we look forward to seeing you at the viewings.